Well, losing weight is among the top New Year's resolutions that people make. If you're looking for some inspiration, our next guest lost over 200 pounds. Marge Lease is a billing assistant from Naperville. Here is a picture from several years back when she weighed 378 pounds. And here is a current picture. Marge joins us this morning. Marge, you look fantastic. Good morning. Thanks. Thanks. Are you kidding me? When did, yeah, it was you know, tough, but I, worth it. I think some people wonder, how do you get to that point where all of a sudden it's 375 pounds? Most people are like, oh, it's 200. Oh, it's 250. How do you, when do you wake up and realize, oh, my gosh, I'm not. You know, I woke up when I went to my cousin's party, and I was dancing up a storm. I was having a great time, but I was sweating like I was in a storm. And all of a sudden, I collapsed from heat exhaustion. Wow. because I was so heavy and I was too embarrassed to take the blazer off and I decided after that I can't do that anymore. Why did it take you to that point to, to finally eat? You know what when you're dealing with stress and you use food as a comfort yeah. you know I was happy we would eat. I was mm -hmm. sad we would eat. I, we had nothing to do I was bored we would eat and you don't realize it's creeping up and creeping up because <laughs> I wouldn't, didn't even like to go to the doctor because I knew what he was going to tell me, you know, that you needed to lose weight, you're overweight. Well, I was heavy. I wasn't stupid. I knew that. I just didn't want to hear it, and it just kept creeping up. So what did you do? So many people this time of year start a diet, do something. What worked for you? I started with SlimFast, uh -huh. and I joined a gym, and I made a promise to myself. For once, I promised myself something instead of promising everybody else something. You know, you're always promising your kids, your spouse, your family. I made a promise to me to change my life and to make a lifestyle change. So and you to stick to it. So how much weight did you lose? Was it on Slim Fast the whole time? I was on Slim Fast for about six months, and I used that for breakfast and for lunch, and then I went to a very healthy dinner. Uh -huh. And then when I learned portion control, and I also, for my last 30 pounds, I have a body media armband, which calculates all the calories that you're burning, what kind of activity you're doing, your sleep pattern, and it's so important to keep track of that. Look at the so, kind of exercises you're doing now. Yeah. I mean, do you see this? And it's, you've got to be like, look how far you've come. How long did it take you to lose 200 pounds? Um, I lost the weight in probably about a year and a half. Wow. And it's maintaining it. That's the hardest part. Your diet yeah. doesn't stop when you've reached that number on the scale. It just, to me, it, it actually starts then because now you have to maintain it. What was, uh the challenge that surprised you most, whether that was on the exercise side of it or the nutrition side of it? The nutrition side, because there were so many preservatives out there, there are so many things that, you know, it's healthy for you one day, it's not healthy for you the next day, and you just have to, to realize, cut out the junk food, just eat healthy, eat normal. So do you cook? I mean, you spend a lot of time cooking now, and is well, that, you, people think that's a lot of work, all that people preparation. People think that, but it's not. I get all my vegetables on the weekend, I cut everything up, and I have all my week's, you know, vegetables and stuff all set in Ziploc baggies, so I just grab it and run. And that's your snack. And those are my snacks. So give us a sample of your diet for, for a day. Like for, breakfast, what do you eat? For breakfast, what I have is, they, they call it breakfast in a bowl at our club, but what she does for me is she makes, she puts eggs, all vegetables, in just this little container. She microwaves it and puts all kind of healthy stuff in there, and... That's my breakfast. And when it's, you say your club, egg. what do you... It means Midtown Athletic Club has a great cafe, huh. and they make everything right from there, right from scratch. A very healthy way to eat. Okay, and then lunch, what do you have in? Lunch, I have a salad. I'm a big salad eater. Okay, and dinner? And dinner is a piece of protein. Yeah. Usually grilled chicken, um, vegetables, steamed vegetables. And then for a snack, at dinner time or whatever, I'll have jello. Well, good for you. So, Congratulations. That's amazing. I mean, yeah. it's really, I mean, you look back now and are you just like, I mean, I, how does your family feel and everything? You they're, know? they're very proud of me. God, and it's great. It's, I'm just glad to know that. A year and you a know? half ago. I always felt I was embarrassing them when I was heavier and that, but now we just, we do everything together and very athletic, very Anything active. Anything you want to tell people that are having a hard time getting out of the gate? You know what? Make that promise yourself and you can do it. And I'm 52 and a grandmother and you can do it at any age. And just never stop giving up. But you do have to exercise, is that Yes, the exercise ah. is the key. Yep, active. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thank you so much, Marge. Lease from Naperville, you can see her in this week's uh, Thanks. People. Yes. It's a great story. Thanks. Great story. Thanks so much, Marge.